Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a whole chicken in your Instant Pot. If you're not sure what an Instant Pot is, I will link one to Amazon below. Basically, it is an electric pressure cooker. Also, it is a slow cooker, has a saute setting, tons of settings. It does like a ton of stuff and they say it is supposed to replace like six or seven kitchen appliances. I don't know about that, um, but I do like mine. And this is one of my favorite recipes so far. So I'm going to be sharing it with y'all today. Now, sometimes I definitely buy rotisserie chickens at the store already cooked, especially the Costco ones. If you've seen my Costco grocery hauls, and if you're watching this channel, there's a good chance you have seen those. So sometimes I buy them at the store because it's super convenient, but sometimes it's nice to be able to make them yourself. And this is probably the easiest method I have ever seen for making a whole chicken. I seasoned mine up in a way that tastes just like the store-bought rotisserie chicken. I think that's just the most versatile flavor. You can use it in so many different things. What my family does is we'll eat the whole chicken for one meal and then usually we'll use the leftovers to make either chicken pasta or chicken noodle soup. I have a great chicken noodle soup recipe, so I'll link that below. Anyway, I'm just gonna stop jabbering and just get right to it and show y'all how I make my whole chicken in the Instant Pot. One of the advantages of making whole chicken is that they are pretty cheap. This one was about $5. You can get just a lot of mileage out of this type of chicken. Then you can make chicken stock from the bones, which I can link my recipe for that below. You get those spices mixed up you're gonna add some oil I am using avocado oil you can use coconut oil or even canola oil if that's the only thing you have just something with a high smoke point but there you go it's gonna make like a little paste we're gonna take about half of it and rub it on the breast side oh, there it is so we've rubbed half of it on there still got about half left and then I'm just gonna hit saute it doesn't really matter the time because we're only going to use it a couple of minutes, but I'm leaving mine on normal. And it heats up pretty fast. It only takes about a minute. On the recipe in my blog, I stuck, um, in the cavity, I stuck a onion and a slice and half lemon. I'm not doing that here. This is just going to be the simple method. Just make sure that you take anything in the cavity. Sometimes they'll put giblets in there. Make sure you take that out first. Okay, I've got it in there. I've got the other side with the spices, and it only takes a couple minutes, so you have to move kind of fast. So I'm gonna get ready to flip, and it's kind of awkward. This is the hardest part. I'm gonna use some tongs and a burger flipper, and I'll try to get a shot of me doing this, because this is a little tricky. Okay, if you drop it on its side a little bit, that'll just press that back in. There we go. Looking and smelling great in here. I'm just gonna let it go for about a minute. It won't take quite as long on this side before I pour in a little bit of chicken stock. You wanna go ahead and turn this off. You can use between one cup and one and a half cups. I'm just using one. It's gonna sizzle a little bit. I kind of pour around it because you see I sort of washed off some of the spices right there. Try and pour around it if you can. And then you're going to put on the lid and engage it and make sure this is hit to ceiling. Then what you're going to do, you're going to hit manual. The first chicken I did was about a pound heavier than this one, so I lowered the cooking time to about 23 minutes. And just let it go. The first chicken that I cooked like this was about 4.3 pounds, and this one is about 3.3 pounds. So that's a pretty significant difference. So I shaved a couple minutes off the cooking time. If you have a giant chicken, you might want to add a couple extra minutes, just so you guys know. Okay, my Instant Pot just beeped, and so all you're gonna do now is turn off to keep warm. Leave it completely off, and we're leaving it sealed. Now we're just waiting for it to depressurize. And this little guy right here will lower when it is fully depressurized. Don't vent it, just let it depressurize slowly. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. It is depressurized, and so I'm gonna remove the lid. Just go ahead and switch it to the vent, which all the pressure should already be gone. Remove the lid. Oh, look at that. It actually, oh, there's steam. 
it actually kind of fell apart. Look how the breasts kind of split in half. Doesn't that look amazing? Yum. And this is so good to use um, as like a shredded chicken recipe to put in casseroles or soups. Uh, so, so versatile. Look at that. It's absolutely falling apart. I used the same um, burger flipper and tongs to get it out of the instant pot. Don't forget to wash this after you put it in there, after you've done your initial flip, because um, it will touch some pieces of the raw chicken. So I washed it really good with hot soap, hot water and soap before using it to get the cooked chicken. Um, it was cooked all the way through. That time was plenty enough for the size of chicken. All right, that's it for this recipe. If you guys wanna see more recipes like this, give this video a thumbs up. Also, this entire full recipe is on my blog. I will link that below in the description box. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.